Greetings and welcome to Factorio. I'm Degray, and today we continue our entry level 2 Megabase, where in the last episode just got our um, plastic and or um, oil production beacons. So we are finally uh, being the most efficient we can in terms of this. Uh, in today's episode, we will have a threefold things we need to do. One, I want to get some more power up and running as uh, we do hit it in the night. Um, that our steam can't keep up anymore, our nuclear power. Two, I want to expand out our red circuits. Wouldn't take more than a few minutes, since that is lacking as well. And then thirdly, we want to go and grab the oil up here that I teased last, last episode. So, if you think that's a good idea, do remember to leave a like on the video. And if you're new to the channel, do remember to subscribe as well. So, um, let's just start right here next to us. And as I've said quite a few times now, um, building modularly makes it very, very easy to expand it out. So in theory, copying pretty much just this one here and here, we just doubled our red circuit production. This is the power of building this way and uh, it makes it so much easier to do things. So now we have our robots, they're gonna deliver it in. We're gonna hook this up and uh, have exactly uh, two red belts flowing out of red circuits. So that is looking very, very good. Let's get the two input sources as well. We can, of course, expand this out to maybe even do even more. Now let's just look at the consumption. Um, advanced circuits. We're producing about 1.9 constantly, or we are consuming way more than that. So if it goes to about 4k, that seems to be enough to supply what we need for the maximum. Going about 3.5 right now, so going to 3.8. Hopefully that'll be enough and we don't tax our system too much. As you can see, power-wise, we also need to fix that. So the easy way to do the power while this is building is that we can actually do the power from the air. So that is going, let's jump in here and let's go down and look at uh, a new place for nuclear power. We could in theory just add it in right here, getting all the robots to build what we need and get things going. We can also use some of the ones over here on the side. Why don't we just make the second one right here and uh, slowly but surely get it built. So um, the reason why we did that is that so now we can do this one. Then robots will deliver in what we need and then we can shift into nuclear and get them to build all the landfill in the middle. Luckily, the way we're doing this, we already leave room for, um, as you can see here, or um, pumps. And that is very, very good. Let's get you filled in. And the power of uh, building these on the lake. I'll fill the rest in when we know. But that way, we know we'll always have um, rooms for the nuclear. Very, very good. I think this is not used for anything, so we'll fix it later. But now, we are upgrading our red circuits. We are also building our next nuclear power plant. They are grabbing all of the landfill we have in storage. And uh, while that is going, we can go and spend a bit of time setting up oil. Well, let's, let's, let's get the rest hooked up here first. It would be quite silly to forget. So if you go from here to there to there and from on over, let's go into here instead. Let's not hook it up incorrectly. There, we want the upper to go this way. Opposite to there. Upper to here. Let's grab you. You are consuming everything on that one. Yeah, and you. Then we'll have the next red one going. Then we'll have you jump as well. From right here to... It'll be fine. 
and in. Oh, that was completely misaligned. There we are. Did I just do it one more time in the exact same place? Silly, silly me. There we are. So now we have more red flowing out. That will, of course, tax our power. And that will consume even more of our green circuit. So that might need to be expanded as well at some point. But right now we are consuming um, half of the items we are taking in here. And that is, uh, is good enough. So that is looking very good. We should have everything hooked up correctly. We should have it flowing down to this one. Giving us now advanced circuits going up to 3.8 just like we have planned. And can we see the same if we do this? Per minute. 3.76, so about 3.8 per minute. So um, that is very good. How is our nuclear power plant coming along? Not really yet. Still need to get our robots. We have all 3,000 putting it in. So that's uh, good to know. Let's get some oil pumps. Let's get a few delivered. Because up here we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. So we need about 40. Let's set it to 40. That should cover what we need. And then uh, get the robots to deliver that to us from down here. So um, I'll be back in just a second after our robots have delivered everything we need and then we'll go and uh, set up our oil production. So welcome back guys. I have just uh, spent a few minutes off camera just getting the rest built. So um, now we have uh, everything set up. We've had the landfill get put in. We've gotten our pumps. So things will be good. Luckily. It's quite good we set this up now because we did actually get to a point where we completely emptied out our accumulators because of all the robots we have had in the air and the increased uh, production of uh, advanced circuits. So now we will easily double our power, as simple as this, and voila, that fits perfect. Click, and we just doubled our, um, our power production, pretty much giving us 960 megawatts more of power. And the robots will slowly but surely fill it in. The pumps goes in the places we made in the blueprints. So that is perfect. And uh, very, very good in terms of supplying power in the future. We also emptied out pretty much all of our steam in these to make it, make it running at uh, run at full speed. But that is why we had the buffer tanks to make sure we could go above the maximum if it was needed. So now that that is being built, let's take a little train ride to our new pumping station, our oil station up here. So let's just go, let's see, where can we go to? We can go here. Because I want this one to be uh, where we output all the oil into, as that'll be easier, since we do need some place that can turn and go back if we decide to do it here. Oh, well, we will do it there. So, uh, so that'll be good. So traveling through the landscape, through our beautiful base. That's actually getting quite big. Which is awesome. We are going to the mega base territory. That's a long ride up here. <laughs> there we are. Perfect. And then we just need to set this one up to be um oh, pretty much just give it a bit of power. There we are. You will be oil. Oil loading. Thank you. And as soon as this has enough, it will open up and uh, let the oil flow. Let's go and set up our pumps. Where do we have the oil? We have some oil right here. We also need to move, what's it called? Oh, this out the way. Well, I'm an idiot. There we are. 
We need to move some of these a bit so we can actually get to um, oil wells below him. Just without cutting the inner circle, because that will be an issue in terms of getting trains through. So, one, two, three, four. We have the ones going here. Let's do five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. There's some pipes for all of you. Let's just flip you this way instead. And as some of you did tell me last, oh, last episode, but last time we expanded out the oil, uh, why don't you just use substations? And I had no good answers other than I don't know. I probably just should have, as substations are a lot easier to line up in terms of getting coverage. So, uh, there we are. We can probably move you a bit. It's fine. Making all the oil flow into our little pipe. And let's do something like this to get it going further. Let's hope I brought enough pipe. There and there. And you need to connect up as well. So there and there. Now we have oil flowing in. Requesting trains as soon as we get to our 100k mark. But we're not done. We need to go and collect all the oil up here as well. <coughs> so, let's see. That seems to be good. What if we just turn you about here? And make you go to the north. There we are. Pumps. Uh, let's just turn it this way. Well, let's let's turn it up this way. Then we can make uh, dedicated lines where it actually go the same way. I think. That is quite a few pumps. And that should be all of them. So now, just to connect them up. There, let's connect you up. You're connected up. There we are. And you can go up that way. Like that. Let's flip you. Here. And... There we are. So that's all the top part of the oil hooked up. We just need the three here at the bottom. Seems we might just have enough pipe for it. And you can go from there. Like that. And you can jump in this way. Oh, that fits up. And then you can take from here to there. And oil. That's all in all these pipes. That means we have connected up correctly. And you can just kind of go in here. There we are. In the future, we can always increase the speed of these by one, adding in speed beacons. And two, by adding in speed modules just in this one. So for example, that goes way, way quicker now. But let's save a bit on the power with that. Speaking of power, how's it looking down here? They are heating up. They are building the last few things. Missing a few heat pipes. So we should probably increase that in uh, in the build. So we don't have to wait for those to be crafted. But that is all the oil connected up. Are we correct? Yeah, seems so. If we look at our oil production. That has increased from 22k up to 78. And we're only consuming about, let's do it in one minute time. Of course, we don't need the train to go in, but uh, that way we have a lot more going. Let's go and check, do we need more um, trains for oil? Uh, oil, we have four. They're all waiting to load, so that should be fine. For now at least. And uh, they'll almost go up here in just a few minutes. 
to, to pick it up. Yeah, I think the four trains we have at the moment is, is gonna be enough. I just want to make sure that it actually can work. That fills up quickly. This fills up at the back. That goes two trains to the loading. Hopefully I can make it before these fills up. That is uh, something I have to make sure of, but then we can just request more. But I kind of want to get in a few more trains. We just set up two right here, can't we? In preparation for when they get him. Two. One, two. Doesn't block anything. Yeah, this is the first one. Thank you. That is full. That's going to request two trains already again. As um, there is enough very certain for it to go. And that's why I want more trains, because right now all of them are doing things. So they can't go and pick up more oil. Go there and there. What if you just go to loading from here? Now you'll go to depot. Yeah, stop. Always to depot first. And that is... Was that the closest depot? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So it should be a depot up here as well. Might be good to get very soon. And there we are. We have our oil trains going. They're going to pick up all the delicious oil we have around the place. And they'll pick it up before this uh, fills up. So that is perfect. So, um, is the power running? If you look at our power production, doesn't look like you have filled up enough yet. You're not doing anything because the temperature is still rising on you. The temperature is almost a 500 down here, so we are quite close to being at the point where we will start to power all of this. Couldn't very skip this in the middle, but it looks cool. Let's take a train back. Is there anything else I want to do? Uh, not overly. I think this is uh, is pretty decent. Let's just take a small trip back to our mall. Or maybe just... Uh, let's go through the whole base just to see how it looks. Let's go there. A little trip down through uh, the base towards the nuclear. And then we'll see it uh, work. And while we're traveling here... Um, do remember to leave a like on the video and um, you're also able to join our channel now on YouTube so you can get your membership badge. A few of you have done it already and I very much appreciate that, getting your badges done as that is something you'll have forever. So so that's kind of cool. Uh, we'll go to the train. And uh, yeah, go follow me on Twitch as well. We are streaming there once in a while, mostly a Dyson Sphere project at the moment. Oh, is it? oh there we are. Is this that long? That's far. And um, I enjoy having you all to chat to. Let's see, you are at almost 500. And you need to go 500. So I think we'll end it the episode here. Um, next episode, we'll start here as well. We'll watch um, this go, watch our power production increase and be in a very, very comfortable spot for um, for the future. And yeah, I don't think I have much more to show you today. I just want to, oh, I just want to show you guys uh, this powering up. Come on, 500. There we go. Steam engines go. Now this is going to start to increase going forward as these start to come online. So um, yeah, everything's working. The power of the blueprint is very, very good. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I've been D-Gray, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye, guys.